And we're back in the studio with Chris Hillman and Herb Peterson, folk rock country bluegrass legends and alt rock godfathers. <laughs> 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 now, Chris, just last night, Rick Roberts posted on Facebook the uh, video from your uh, Library of Congress mm -hmm. chat. And that was really, really good. I recommend Thanks. all of our, our viewers you. check that out and, and see, if they can, uh, see if they can find it. But your musical background pre-Birds is quite colorful, too. And you got started in, in folk and country before the Birds, right? I had a real passion, as did Herb. And um, I, there was so much I left out of the story. And when the Library of Congress contacted me and I said, well, what do you want me to talk about? And they said, talk about your musical journey. I said, oh, my gosh. Um, and you and I How go... How many hours do you have? <laughs> you, you and I go back a long ways. And, you know, and, and uh, you worked with, with uh, Roger McGuinn and Gene Clark and I in the old... a few years back. But I was the shy guy in the birds, you know, and I never would have conceived of ever speaking in front of people like that. And uh, that was 40 years. But anyway, yes, the, um, uh, I left a lot out. I couldn't get it all in. I did prepare for it, but it was, uh, it was a great challenge to do that. Yeah. Well, it was a lot of fun to watch. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'm kind of interested also in, in um, how you moved in the birds from kind of a psychedelic folk rock group and moved kind of more into a country-influenced uh, country um, uh, vein. Well, Sweethearts I'll, of the Rodeo. You know, and In all honesty, we had already started me, uh, experimenting with that. And it wasn't a contrived thing where we we're saying, well, let's do this. It, was, um, it wasn't a stretch for us. Right. The Birds were five guys that had come out of folk music. We were not a rock band ever uh, until we plugged in. Until you plugged we in. Plugged those amplifiers in, and then we became, you know, started to learn how to do it. And uh, so it wasn't a stretch, but we had done it on an album called Younger Than Yesterday, a song called Time Between, one of the first songs I'd ever written. Yep. And I brought Clarence White in, my, one of my old bluegrass friends, and Herb had certainly worked with Clarence and off and on. And that was, I think, the very first country movement there. When we did Sweetheart of the Rodeo in 1968, and Graham Parsons was hired on as a sideman in the band, it was... Not a stretch, like I said earlier. We went down, and we—it was really just expanding it a bit. It was a very organic, yeah, step so, by step. Uh, uh, and I think at the time, funny enough, and I, to quote Roger McGuinn, who said, "You know, we were sort of spinning our wheels." And right then, Graham comes along, and he gave us a, a, a big boost of energy. And fortunately, on my end, here's a guy who comes into the band who, who loved the same music I did. Because right. when I joined the Birds, they didn't want to know from bluegrass or I had to convince David Crosby that the steel guitar was a good instrument. Two years later, he's using Jerry Garcia on Teacher Children. <laughs> there you go, yeah. Uh, but so there it was, yeah. And, and, and I think the uh, thing Sweetheart of the Rodeo did was it opened up the floodgates. And it wasn't the best-selling Birds album but it opened up a whole new area for people. It was yeah. extremely influential and yes, remains to be, or re remains yeah. extremely influential. Not my favorite record. And then you. after that, uh, Flying Burrito Brothers. So it was another easy step and I'm going, okay, Graham and I take off, we start the Flying Burrito Brothers. Uh, in hindsight, where we're all geniuses, of course, in hindsight. And I go, the Birds had become a really good band. Here's a band that went from barely being able to plug in and play to pl playing a song like Eight Miles High, right? And then when the burritos came along, the only thing I regret was we were, we were a bit lazy in our uh, execution of the songs. But Graham and I had a great bond going on that first year of 1969 where we were writing songs on a daily basis and some great ones that I still play and perform with Herb and, and uh, some of the best times of my life. Well, let's hear one of those right now. Absolutely. And here's Chris Hillman and Herb Peterson with Wheels, co-written by Chris and Graham Parsons. We've all got wheels To take ourselves away We've got the telephones To say what we can say We've all got higher and higher every day. Come on, wheels, take this boy away. And we're not afraid to ride. And we're not afraid to die. 
come on wheels take me home today come on wheels take this boy away Peterson on House Blend with Wheels, a Hillman Graham Parsons song from the Flying Burrito Brothers' 1969 debut album, Gilded Palace of Sin. It's all, also on Chris and Herb's latest live album, At Edwards Barn. They say there's work, but it's always the next town. Will you still love me when I'm gone? 